Have you ever wondered whether or not it's best to install the Nvidia driver using Envy Clean Install or just doing a regular driver install with GeForce Experience but then modifying your settings? Well, that's exactly what I tested today. So sit down, strap in, let's go. Right guys, as mentioned in the intro of the video, I'll be comparing uh, doing a normal NVIDIA um, driver install using the NVIDIA driver and then installing GeForce Experience and adding some optimized settings versus creating a strip driver by using NV Clean Store. So uh, straight off the bat, I'm gonna get to uh, the settings I use in GeForce Experience. So guys, whenever I do testing on a driver, I boot into safe mode and I use DDU to completely remove the driver, etc. So then what, as soon as I boot back into Windows, then I right click on the driver, run as administrator, and then I install the driver with GeForce Experience. But if I do that now, it's gonna cut out the recording. So um, just run the driver as administrator, install with GeForce Experience, I, and then I use customized settings, no HD audio, um, I don't do a, a clean install because I've already done a clean install or a, a, a fresh uh, or clean up with DDU. And then I wait for the driver to install. And then uh, with my GeForce Experience, the settings I use in there. And the reason why I specifically use GeForce Experience is because if I'm recording gameplay, it's the best way to record gameplay with losing the least FPS. OBS is very CPU heavy, so you tend to lose quite a lot of frames if you're using OBS to record gameplay. GeForce Experience is more GPU heavy, so you lose, you tend to lose much less frames using GeForce Experience to record gameplay. So to get to my settings, what I do is I go to settings, and then obviously because I do record gameplay, I leave the in-game overlay on, or else it's not going to record. I switch off battery boost. I switch off GeForce driver update is available because I checked that myself daily using a website. And then um, I switch off reward is available. And then from there what I do is I go open up the in-game overlay. And then when I record my gameplay, uh, I like the microphone to be off because I just want to record what's happening on the screen, not my breathing. It's a little bit uncomfortable. And then I go to settings over here keyboard shortcuts and then just for my own convenience I toggle the manual recording on and off I put as page up it's just convenient for me and then something I could affect performance I go on the highlights and then uh, capture I switch off capture and I just um, drag maximum disk space from 5 to 1 and that's pretty much my settings for GeForce experience um, in terms of my NVIDIA control panel settings, I'll just show you that quickly. I'm not going to go through detail, but what I do is I enable developer settings and I switch off show notification tray and the icon. Adjust image settings, I um, set it to performance and then I apply because then it sets all my managed 3D settings to the lowest variable. I set high performance NVIDIA processor. CUDA sysmem fallback policy, I put it to prefer no sysmem fallback because you get the best ability like that. Um, low latency mode, I leave it off, but I do switch it on for the uh, to Ultra for The Witcher as well as Alan Wake 2, but I do that via program settings. Uh, OpenGL GDR compatibility, I don't give a shit what anybody says, you get better performance or preferred performance. I know games aren't really an OpenGL anymore, but Believe it or not, you get better performance when you set it to prefer performance. I'm not going to debate that again. OpenGL rendering GPU just set to your GPU. Prefer maximum performance under power management. Shader cache size. I play a lot of open world games, so I set it to unlimited. Texture filtering. Uh, I put to high quality because there's no performance loss, but you get better visuals. And that switches off texture filtering, trilinear optimization, 3D optimization, just put it on, on, set physics configuration, I set it to my GPU, and then manage GPU and performance counters, I allow access to the GPU performance counters to all users. Um, okay, 
So then um, I have recorded or pre-recorded how uh, I install in NV Clean Store, or not install, how I set up my drive with NV Clean Store. So I'm gonna switch to that video now. Right, for my NV Clean Store settings, I just got NV Clean Store run as administrator. As you can see, I'm using the latest version of NV Clean Store version 1.16.0. And then because I have my driver or the latest driver on the desktop, I'll go use driver files on disk, browse, desktop, and I select my driver. And then I just make sure that periodically check for driver updates in the background is off. And I'll go next. And then look, if you're on a laptop, it's best to um, leave all these unchecked, but you are gonna need Optimus. Um, so just display driver Optimus. And then next, everything else is extras. So go next. And then it's obviously gonna unpack the installer. Let's give it a second or two. Almost there. Come on guys. Bear with me. Uh, unpacking the installer. Okay, cool pajamas. It should be done. Okay, cool. So we're gonna disable installer telemetry. Gonna do an unattended express installation and allow automatic boot re uh, uh, reboot if needed. Um, we already uh, do a clean installation of TDU, so you can leave that. Leave hardware support. I don't have DLSSS or DLSS. Um, I just leave that disable Ansel and then show expert tweaks and yeah, I disable driver telemetry uh, I want the NVIDIA container because I want NVIDIA control panel not to break Disable NVIDIA HD audio Enable message signal interrupts just interrupt policy default interrupt priority high Disable HDCP And that is it. Right, is there anything else? Uh, Solix new application. Okay, and then I just go next. So in previous videos when I've done this, I've not been able to do this step because when I'm busy recording a video with OBS, this uh, creating my driver actually does break uh, my recording. But in this case, it hasn't, so that's great. So that's why I'm showing you the steps I take and why, for me, NV Clean Store is a waste of time. So I'm just going to select a show in folder. And then what I do is I just create a new folder and call this um, Strip Driver. Cool. And then I just copy this over. Okay, so and then you can close this and then you're done with NV Clean Install. So now if you want to install the strip driver, all you need to do is run as administrator and install the driver as, as you would normally. And that's all my NV Clean Install settings. And now we're going to get to the benchmarks. So once you go to the task manager, okay, I'm using OBS, so my results are a little bit skewed here. But if you're installing with NV Clean Install, you probably, I'm on 24 gigabytes of RAM, so your percentage might be a little bit different. Um, I get 2% less RAM usage uh, when I install with NV Clean Install. And then once we go to the NVIDIA uh, containers, etc., I've only got two NVIDIA containers with NV Clean Install. So all these extra containers, Shadow Play Helper, NVIDIA Share, NVIDIA Share, NVIDIA Share, NVIDIA Web Helper Service, it's not there if you use ME Clean Store. So you would think that you'd get better performance with ME Clean Store. Makes sense, right? Right guys, now we're gonna go get my results. But before we do that, guys, please just make sure that you like, comment, and share the video. If you are subscribed to the channel, just set all notifications on, please. And then for new viewers, I have on my homepage in video control panel and drivers new section where I uh, um, benchmark all the latest drivers I've got the best in video control panel settings and then individual in video control panel settings over here 
full, full of benchmarks, etc. And then a whole bunch of optimization guides. This is a how to unlock undervolting for tension and newer. Uh, step one and two. And then this is how to regulate your temperatures with roll stop A to Z. Um, adjust undervolting and then adjust to ratio limits and you can get fantastic temperatures. But you can go through that. Guys, getting to my results. Um, as you can see here, NV Clean Store versus Stock. Uh, I did benchmark over, how much is that? Over 13 games. Guys, I don't have any um, online games on my computer. I'm not gonna install online games. I don't like online games. I don't have space on my computer. And uh, so your results may vary. If you play online games, NV Clean Store might be a good option for you. But if you play single player games, you'll see, your, see the results here. I don't think it's worth it. So all my games are tested at medium settings with the exception of the newer games such as Alan Wake, Starfield, etc. The new games for 2023 are set to low. Um, as mentioned, I test single player games. FSRS 2 is set to quality where available. I do test on a GTX 1650 laptop and then I use the latest NVIDIA driver 546.17 for my benchmarks as well as creating the NV Clean Stall modded driver. So guys, um, with NV Clean Store, when I create that strip driver, um, over those 13 games, I add up all the average FPS and I get to 829 over 13 games. I add up all the 1% lows and over 13 games, I get to 634. Um, and then I add up all the 0.1% lows and I get to 536. Um, and then when I do my custom GeForce Experience install, uh, the settings I showed you earlier, of those 13 games, I add up all the average FPS, I get to 838. So you can see it's actually more stable than NV Clean Store, um, or you get high FPS, should I say. And then I add up all the 1% lows and I get to 640. So over here, you can see over those 13 games, at 6 FPS, more stable than NV Clean Store. And then uh, when I, once I add up all the 0.1% lows, I get to 534. So this is the only metric where NV Clean Install actually does um, beat out GeForce Experience modded install. Um, because as you can see, yeah, NV Clean Install is 536 and GeForce Experience is 534. But the, the difference is marginal. I mean, over 13 games, it's really nothing to smirk at. Um, Guys, so in every metric, GeForce Experience takes the cake. Uh, with the exception of Horizon Zero Dawn, uh, it was actually two FPS higher in terms of 1% lows with NV Clean Install. As well as Cyberpunk, I actually got two FPS higher in terms of the 1% lows. Every single thing else, I got higher FPS and higher 1% lows by just using GeForce Experience to install the NVIDIA driver. So guys, if you want my recommendation, you can disagree with it. I don't give a crap. I've done this test three times now, and I'm, I'm fr quite frankly, I'm a little bit sick of it. Um, in weekly install, lowers your average FPS, and it makes your games less stable. It might work better in online games, but I don't test online games. I test single player games. So for me, NV Clean Store just doesn't make sense. It's extra work for no benefits. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that like button. If you have any questions, please hit me up in the comment section. And as always, guys, if you haven't subscribed as of yet, now's the time to do so. Guys, it's the weekend. It's the last day of the weekend. Have a good one. Cheers.